Michael and Dwight hmm, were working on a problem where they were asked to write a sinusoidal equation representing the height of a Ferris wheel with a radius of 21 meters rotating at a rate of one revolution per 100 seconds. What do we have? We have a circular object with radius of hmm, 21. So whenever you're dealing with sinusoidal stuff, right, and you're given a circle and you're given a radius, automatically that's probably going to be your amplitude. And that is going to be our amplitude. I'm just giving you a heads up. What else do we know? Well, if it rotates uh, once every 100 seconds, then that's going to be our period. Okay, let's keep on going. It was assumed that the ride begins when the rider of the Ferris wheel is at the bottom of the ride. So Dwight wrote out the equation h of t equals negative 21 cosine pi over 50 t plus 21. Now let's see what that looks like. Okay, let's see the picture that Dwight came up with. Let's see if there's any issues or whatever. All right, so midline 21. Okay. Negative 21 cosine gives us that amplitude of 21. So we're up here at 42. We're down here at zero. Negative cosine is actually right here. And if you're like, well, why not sine or something like that? Well, let's think it out. Cosine looks like this, right? But we're starting at the bottom, like Drake, uh, which starts down here and looks like that. Now, if we shift that up a bunch, if we shift that up the amplitude, we are now starting out down here and the height's gonna go up and it's gonna come down and repeat itself at 100. So the picture, I mean, given what we have, Dwight looks like he did a pretty decent job. All right, now pi over 50, if you're wondering, well, where did that come from? This is a cosine function. So that's our frequency. And the way you get frequency is you do uh, pi, or I'm sorry, two pi over the period, which is 100, and that simplifies out to pi over 50, like so. Okay, so everything seems fine, everything seems good. Oh, but Michael swoops in and reminds Dwight that the bottom of the ride actually uh, is two meters off the ground. So two meters off the ground is going to be up one, two, making the midline 23, the bottom two, and the bottom 44. Now, how does that change this function? Just the midline. That's it. So all we have to do is just change that to 23. Which, should I give the same answer twice? I did. Ugh. So I think I meant to put 22 here, but I made it 23. I was thinking Taylor Swift thoughts, uh, but I accidentally made them both 23. So, you know, you get the idea, even though it's a poorly written problem, you get the idea. But yeah, that's your guy, Michael and Dwight. <laughs> that's what she said, right? <laughs> it's the show, The Office. Hope this helps.